Hey guys, welcome back to a very special Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today is going to be the start of a episode series that I've been wanting to do for a while. And with it being winter time right now, I figured what better time to do it than now. Got the cold weather outside and the temperatures are very cold and fishing with a boat isn't the uh, best scenario right now with the ice on the lakes. So what I wanted to do was upgrade the front deck of my boat because it is not very user friendly whatsoever. The other issue with my boat is there's really not any storage space uh, on my boat. And I really want to change that. I want to have lockable storage when I stay overnight at places that I can lock up and know that it's going to be safe overnight and I don't have to worry about a bunch of baits and stuff or whatever getting stolen. So the other thing is um, I don't have very many lights on my boat and when I'm fishing at night I can't see anything. So that's also a problem. Um, I'm going to put some lighting on this boat light up my boat so I can see where I'm going and I can see what's going on on my deck. And I'm also gonna put some lights inside of my new storage bin that I'll be building. So to start things off, um, why don't we go upstairs and I'm gonna show you some of the items I'm gonna be purchasing. This is a budget build, so I'm gonna keep you up to date on everything I'm spending and what I have to buy. Hopefully I have most of the tools, I have a couple of um, the items I'm going to use lying around and um, I'm going to take you guys to Home Depot with me and I'm going to show you the wood and screws and stuff that I'm going to be buying there so I will keep track of everything and let you guys know uh, how much I'm spending so yeah let's go upstairs now and check out some of the stuff I'm going to get off Amazon all right guys up in my office wanted to show you my shopping cart that I have so far and I'm not buying all this today. I'm going to buy some of them. But I uh, just kind of wanted to show you where I'm at. And um, give you a running tally of how much this build's going to cost. So uh, if you have any suggestions. Um, something I shouldn't use. Or hey you should do this instead. Please leave a comment down below and let me know. And I will uh, definitely consider it. I will also give you... A message back and we can have a conversation about it first up is a marine wood fiberglass primer so all the wood I'm putting on the project I'm gonna uh, cover in this to uh, make it water resistant and then next up is some gas struts um, I'm not sure on these yet but I'm going to use it as a, a door assist on my storage unit that I'm gonna make under the deck and then these are the brackets for it. I uh, I have these lights. I've used them before. And they throw light in about 180 degrees directions. So I'm really happy with these lights. And um, I want to put them on my boat. Next up I have a control switch to, uh, to uh, toggle all the lights and accessories on and off. It even has a, a charger, so I can charge my phone with it. Next up is a quick power socket. Uh, it's going to allow me to easily charge my batteries. And I already have a, somewhat of a assembly with this plug in there, so I should be able to hook it right up. And this next one is kind of questionable. I'm not sure about it yet. Um... Supposedly they're waterproof, but they're padded floor mats that look like wood. And I'm 50-50 on this. I want something soft because I stand up there for hours on end. And my feet start to hurt, so I kind of wanted a softer uh, padded deck. Um, I'm probably going to look into some more uh, marine type stuff, but I'll have more on that to come in the following videos. So as of right now, with all that, I'm sitting at $190. Uh, technically, I don't really need to order any of this stuff today. Um, I can let it sit and marinate for a while. 
see what I want to come up with and do. Um, I might have a couple more ideas and we can go from there. Up next, I'll show you guys everything up closer. I don't need everything yet. Um, I can buy this stuff as the build progresses. So I'm going to hold off on some of this. I need to uh, make sure these struts are heavy and heavy duty enough for uh, what it's going to have to lift. I'll find out the weight once I get my deck built. So um, I'm going to hold off on that and see if uh, 60 pounds will do the job. Sizing these things are so weird. Um, I'm not an expert at it by any means, but uh, I know you can bleed them out and adjust them. So I'm going to hold on that and figure out what to do when the time comes. Like I said, on this, I'm looking into a marine product to uh, make sure I have the right kind of material. So yeah, I'm going to go through with these four items and uh, go ahead and place them. And that puts our total at... 113.32 so far. All right, now that you guys have uh, seen that, I think you got a feel for uh, some of the stuff I'm going to be putting on the front of this deck here. Next up, a good starting point to any project is having a clean workspace. And I have to admit that my garage was super messy. So I spent the afternoon cleaning that up and getting everything ready for this project. So check out this time lapse. All right guys, sorry about that background noise. There's some demolition going on inside. But uh, I got my garage cleaned up and uh, suspended a light fixture above my working area. It ain't going nowhere. That way I'll have a uh, pretty good light shining down on my work area. I got my heater right there and pretty good setup ready to uh start my projects all right guys gotta have a clean workspace and i got all my tools out of the shed and brought it into my garage where i'm gonna have a uh, heat space and uh got everything ready to build in here so the uh next thing i had to do was get my boat off the trailer and you, you might be asking why did i do that as you can see, it's sitting way lower than it was up on the trailer. So I'm gonna be able to easily reach in here and work on my projects right here. So that is gonna be very helpful. The other thing was my boat is about, man, how old is it? 20, 25 years old. It's a 1995 16 foot low and my trailer isn't doing so well. 
So I wanted to get the boat off the trailer and I'm not gonna do any of the trailer work in this project. I'm gonna send it off and have someone do it for me because I don't have that much time. I, I just wanna focus on the, the deck of the boat and let someone else who uh, specializes in trailering fix my, my wooden planks and stuff because it's in disarray. So uh, let's take a look at that right now. All right guys, here's the trailer. Uh, this is strapped down with zip ties and uh, we ended up breaking that board actually, trying to get the boat off. I think that one might even be broken too, but uh, this is the main thing. Uh, everything's all rusted out. Bolts are stripped. Wood is gone. It's pretty rotted. I got it tied up with a bunch of rope right there. And uh, the other side's not looking so good either. I was having a lot of issues with that and ended up zip tying it down because the bolts are stripped and everything's rusted out on this side too. So, uh, all the wiring in the trailer's been redone. Also, these light fixtures are brand new, LED lights, so they work really well. Don't have to worry about that. The winch and the, well, the winch, the tires are new. The spare tire's new. The winch is okay. I put a new rubber stop on the front right here and also ended up putting a new jack on right there. So, uh, got all that going for it. All it really needs is new wood and a little bit of TLC on the metal and, and nuts and bolts and stuff, so. So yeah, as you can see, the trailer's not doing so well. Um, why don't we uh, take a quick look and see how we got the uh, trailer on these sets of blocks right here and how we, we ended up pushing it off of the trailer. It was really hard, so check that out. My trailer is, ne My trailer is in need of a lot of repair. And I'm trying to figure out how to get the boat off the ground. And I have a theory that it's light enough I can get it down on these channels. Just like that carpeted board is. Because uh, that's what it's made to uh, slide in on. And I can set those on these 4x4s. Uh, four four I think I can use these 4x4s four four and screw in some 2x4s uh, into it get it elevated off the ground and hair and get them on this channel right here and have the boat sit on it Let's see what I can come up with I'm gonna use these ramps right here stick a two by four on there Elevate that just a hair.
here's that thing sitting on the blocks it's working really well it's pretty sturdy no issues whatsoever I'm happy with it I was pretty questionable I just kind of did that on the fly um, I think it'll work really well hopefully I didn't really think through when we have to uh, put it back on the trailer but I think what I'm gonna do is use a car jack and and build it back up enough to where it's at the trailer height so I'll have to add a lot more blocks to it and build it up and make it a lot higher but I won't have to do that till the end of the build so all right guys well that was the entire day's worth of work right there I got everything ready to go and why don't I show you the front of this boat where everything's going to get worked on. Here's the front of the boat and here are the plans I have so far. This may change. Like I said, I'm building this on the fly, but this seat's going to get pulled. I'm going to try to find a way to rip up this deck right here to gain some weight back because uh, this deck might add a bunch of weight to my boat. and so. Having that off of there will be very helpful in the whole weight department. I'll be taking off my old Minn Kota motor. I think I'm going to be upgrading that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, pulling my Garmin unit off of here. And then pretty much I'm going to build the deck up to be about this height right here. It's going to go all the way back to this part of the, the boat right there. And I'm going to have a huge front deck. And then I'm going to have a lid on here. And hopefully be able to lift that thing up. Be able to lift that thing up and shut it for all sorts of storage right here. That's all going to be storage. So I won't have all this stuff floating around in the back quite so much anymore. I got the boat all cleaned out. And I suspended this light so I'd have a work light over the boat to see what I was doing. I bought this little propane radiant heater. Should really help me on these cold days in my garage. Help keep me warm. Hopefully I can work in a t-shirt with that thing on. And plus I got this guy up here. So hopefully between the two of them they help me out quite a bit. Actually, it looks like one of the, the bulbs are burnt out. So it's not quite putting off as much heat as it was. Well, that sucks. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. If you are interested, I really hope you subscribe and follow me on this journey and see what kind of hiccups I run into. And Hopefully you guys can learn something from this video and give you a good idea on how to build the ultimate fishing deck on your boat. So, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Like I said, make sure to subscribe. Check out my Facebook and Instagram links in the description below. And I really hope to see you guys all along on this boat build right here. So, I will catch you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep fishing. I'll catch you guys later.